Hey everybody, we're back again to look at what's coming up in the winter season. Almost forgot there. Um, I'm a bit late in this video, but at least it's coming out. Last time I didn't even make a video for the fall season, which is a real shame because the fall season was the best of all year, hands down. So many amazing shows. New Yashiki, Girls Last Tour, uh, Magus Bride was fantastic, really was. And hopefully this season will provide me with some shows I can watch, though I did a brief look at it and I'm not too convinced. Anywho, good. Violet Evergarden by Kyoto Animation. I vaguely recall this studio being somewhat good at doing stuff. I uh, did Kalnad. Oh, and Koei no Katachi, Katachi, but I uh, haven't seen the movie. I just heard the movie misses, like, skips some stuff out and isn't as good. Uh, but yeah, I'm aware of their shows. It's probably because of Maid Dragon that I'm aware of this uh, studio. They do a lot of uh, idol stuff. Seems k -On. I've done Lucky Star. Gee whiz. Right. Uh, drama Fantasy, it's probably not for me. Let's see, she's a doll. And this is okay. Dolls eventually spread out into the world, and a machine that allows people to rent out dolls was also created. I will run as fast as I can to without, wherever my customer design, desires. I am the Auto Memories doll, Violet Evergarden. Um, there's not much to tell from this, but I'm not really into my drama and fantasy. It's kind of vague, so I can't say I'm not into that. Um, the premise is kind of interesting. I think this is going to be a show. If I hear good things, I might watch it. Um, normally, I, I wouldn't say that about a show like this, but after watching Girls Last Tour, it really has opened me up to trying out different genres, just to get a bit of a wholesome feeling. Uh, Overlord season two. Not seen the first season though. It's onto my it's on my to watch list. Though that list is big. <laughs> There's a lot of shows I'm already currently watching. I'm trying to finish off shows from last season, and. Uh, watch Monster, so I don't know if I'll ever get around to Overlord, but well, hopefully I will one day, but probably not within this season. Now that's you know Tai's Eye, absolutely watching, because it's, well I really like the first season, I've been reading the manga, and this new arc that's coming up in the uh, anime is ten times better than the first arc. There's some absolutely standout moments that really, there were times where Seven Deadly Sins was like, the best like shown it out there for me. It really did excel in some aspects. And I can't wait to see my favourite scenes animated. It'll be really awesome. Uh Fate, nope. Citrus that's a weird name. Passion. Passion, I'm just reading it like the Jojo um group. Never heard of this studio. I don't think they've done anything really. Um I'm probably not going to bother could paste off the cover art. Darling in the Frank X, the Fran XX. There's a lot of fuss being made about this because it's a Trigger and A1 Pictures collaboration. Trigger are like 10 out of 10. 99% uh, of people hate A1 Pictures. Uh, so that's an interesting mashup. Or well, even though they're doing Seven Deadly Sins, which I thought they did a fine enough job with. Um. Some, it's like a mech kind of show, uh, that's all I really know about it. I'm probably going to watch it, just because it seems Trigger are normally held in quite high regard, and there's so much interest in this show from the community that I feel like I have to watch it, and also, I've got my headphones on, and I don't need my headphones on, so they're coming off. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably watch that, just because of how interested the community is in it. Death March Kara, Hajimaru Isekai, Isekai is not a good start. Yep, 29 year old programmer, some fucking neat fag probably. Uh, and now he's in another world, don't care. Oh, it's a light novel ad adaptation, who would have guessed that? It's not like every light novel is basically the exact same. Which studio? Which studio are a big deal? Uh, you know, Attack and Titan, Magus Bride. Their production is 10 out of 10, um, which is why I was surprised when they did Magus Bride, because it's quite a laid back show, even though it's quite beautiful. And this is a romance, I'm surprised at 
which are uh, tackling this, considering how they go all out in their shows like animation wise and stuff. You're not going to get a lot of Sakuga moments from a romance show, I'd assume. Um, so, a high school student who used to be part of a running club can't do it anymore because of an injury. In a family restaurant she works at, she falls in love with a 45 year old man with a young son. If I hear good things, then yeah, maybe. Uh, again, Girls Last Girls opened me up to it. being tempted to try different things, and that is a different premise from a lot of romance shows. I guess it makes sense that Wit would go for something quite different for one of their first. I think this is their first romance. Yeah, as you can see, the vast majority of what they do is basically just attack and tain in the OVAs. Right. I am not worried. Card Raptor? Nope. Koku. What is this? Action, psychological, drama, thriller. I can get into those tags. Those look promising. Uh, so a bunch of people are in a world where only they are able to move. Um. Somebody's okay. Nephew and brother kidnapped for ransom. They decide to rescue uh, themselves because they don't have money. And okay, so the grandfather of this family uses a watch to stop time. Fair enough. It's quite a. It's hard to tell where the show will really go just from oh time has stopped. It's not. I feel like this should grab me, but it isn't. So I think once again, if I hear good things, I'll check it out. And I feel like I probably will hear good things. I've just got a feeling it'll end up being... <coughs> oh, jeez, sorry. Got a feeling this will end up being quite good, maybe. So, we'll see. Beatless. Uh, not interested in the des character designs from the poster. I'm just not going to bother. Grand Crest, Senki. Again, character designs are quite generic. Can't really be arsed. Um, I feel like I've heard of this show before. I feel like I've seen this, this girl before. Comedy romance, slice of life. Not gonna bother. Um, like I say, oh, I've been opened up, but it's only if it's like a really eye-catching poster or if the synopsis looks interesting. This just looks like nothing that interesting, so I'm not gonna bother trying it. Even if it's good, I'm really just can't be honest. But at least I've opened up, you know, a little bit. Uh, Hakata Tonkotsu Ramens, which has no genre. Ooh, this looks interesting. Uh, at first glance, the city seems like a peaceful one, but under the surface, crime's running rampant. The city's Hakata Ward is home to the professionals of the underworld. Killers, detectives, informants, professional revenge seekers, skilled in torture and more. According to urban legend, a killer of professional killers has shown up in the city. I can get behind that. Um, I don't know if the show will take itself that seriously or not. That sounds very interesting. Uh, let's see. I've done Helsing Ultimate, Rock Horizon, which is my least favourite anime of all time. It's not a good start. I've done Fairy Tale. Okay, this studio's not done that much to impress me. Unfortunately, I'm not really uh, being grabbed here. Oof. Right, I'm regretting saying I'll watch this a little bit after seeing what they've made, which is not very impressive, but hey, maybe they can do something good. Um, a lot of people love Lock Horizon, so I can't say they've, they're necessarily a bad studio. Um, let's see, I'll just see this quite quickly. I'm not sure what I make of this. Um, yeah, I think I will. It's not like a really strong I'll watch, but yeah, okay. I'll give it a shot. Well, I mean, yeah, I think I will. Pop Team Epic, a lot of people are really into this show. Um, I don't really care about Pop Team Epic. There's a lot of, I think they're quite popular over here just because there's a lot of like pictures of theirs that go viral. 
But yeah, I'm not really bothered about them, so I'm not going to watch it. Uh, Jin Juuti collection, or Ito Junji collection. Well, yeah, I'm going to watch. Um, he's like the master of horror manga. I don't think the adaptation of this is going to be very good, because his stuff being in manga form, I think, fits better than being animated. And, well, yeah, I'm also questioning how good the production will be, because Studio Dean are kind of hit and miss. But I'll watch it, just to see what a Junji Ito work will look like animated. I've not read that much Junji Ito stuff, I've read like two, uh, but I've quite enjoyed them. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this adaptation turns out. It's just interesting to see Junji Ito get an anime, basically. But yeah, uh, Studio Dean have done the Showa Rakugo series, which is apparently like fantastic. Um, Sakamoto is quite good as well. Uh, yeah, they've done quite a lot of good things and quite a lot of bad things as well. But hey, hopefully they'll uh, pull through with this one. Saiki Kuso no... Uh, some symbol. Uh, I don't remember what this is called in English. This series has looked interesting, but I never watched it when it first came out. Um, so it's a bit too late to catch up now. It's really not anywhere near my plan to watch list. I think, I'm sure this will be quite good, but it's not for me. Well, I mean, it is for me, but I'm just not watching it. Or it might be for me, who knows. Madhouse are tackling some crap that I don't care about. Uh, anime story centers in high school girls going to the South Pole, a place farther than the universe. They struggle and grow, grow together as they cope with extreme conditions. I think a part of this show is just called A Place Farther Than the Universe in English, and a lot of people are watching it. But I don't think I will. There's a chance I will later on, but I'm not really into that cover art. So I think I'll give this a skip for now, but I might be reeled back in. You never know. Fantasy's List of Life. Nine centimeters tall, the tiny girls live in a forest. Living in a tiny house in a tree, riding insects and birds, and making umbrellas out of leaves, these tiny girls live a tiny life. Follow their tiny lives as they love their day in a fantastic world of tiny people and gods. No. In interesting premise, but I'm just not feeling it. I'm not looking to watch a hundred like, fucking slice of life shows. Yuru Camp, I'm not even going to bother reading it. Uh, no. Uh, Mitsuboshi Colors, no. <sighs> Carker designs on this don't look very good. I can't be asked reading all that text. So, no. Killing Bites looks uh, weird. Action, etchy, horror, uh, sci fi. Probably had me before the etchy tag. But those designs are really weird, so that's another skip. Skip. Galken Babysitters skip. Uh, skip this one. Ramen Daisuke Kozumi san skip. Slow start skip. Definitely a slow start. I'm even going to bother watching it. Watching that one. Uh, second season skip, second season skip. Skip, not interested, based off the cover. Mira no Kaikata, skip. Idolish, skip. Fourth season, fourth season, that's rare, skip. Basilisk. It's not interesting me in the cover, but I'm re having this realization that I probably should watch something from this season. Uh, let's see what it says. The battle for success and it continued for three generations of Shogun, culminated in a gruesome battle. Oof. Uh, so there's a lot of these kind of Shogun Samurai shows and I just can't be bothered to be honest, so skip. New anime ad adaptation. Um, this looks a bit childish, but... Let's see, thousands of years ago it was a time of witchcraft and dark magic. A country in shambles, human worlds on destruction, bold mission is uh, planned. Send a young master wizard to hunt the villains and evil warlocks. I mean this doesn't sound like a bad show but it just sounds kinda like a solid like 7 out of 10 show, nothing. I'm not really grabbed by this. Is the adaptation any good? 75% score for the last adaptation. 
Okay, then. This is not a manga, does it? No, this is the manga. Um. I have no idea if this will be any good or not. I think I'll see if it's any good. I'm not willing to jump on that immediately. Second season, no. Final arc, no. Smartphone adaptation, no. Second season, no. Fucking part of a already existing franchise and looks a bit cluttered with mechs everywhere, no. 15th Precure series, no. So this season hasn't been too good for me, I'm not watching that much. Seven Deadly Sins is a definite, that's basically the only definite. Apart from that we've got this ramen show and then we have a pop possibly for Kokoku. No, sorry, we've got three, two definites. We've got Nanatsu no Taizan, Junji Ito, we've got a probably for ramen show. Got, and then we've got a maybe for Hakyu Hoshinengi as Kokoku show. Oh, I'm watching Frank X as well, I forgot. Okay, so I've got two maybes, basically. Three. I think I'm missing out on something, but. No, okay, we've got Violent Evergarden, the Wit Studio show, Kokoku, and Hakyu Hoshinengi. So we've got. Uh, those are all maybes, so we've got one, two, three, four maybes, and then we've got three definites, right? And we've got a probably with the ramen show, and then we've got three definites with Nanatsu and Taizai, Junji Ito, Franca and Fran XX. Three definites isn't that bad, but well, I'm not. I'm only really interested in one of them. Like, I don't think Junji Ito is going to be good. I don't know about Fran XX. So I'm only, I've only got one show I'm genuinely excited for, but hey, last season I had no idea I was going to love Girls Last Tour, uh, didn't think, well I did think I'd love Manga Spread that much, but um, some shows can take you by surprise, and this could happen with Winter, there's a lot of potential here, so I don't want to dismiss it immediately. Uh, yeah, sorry, I thought I hadn't been recording for a minute. So that's that, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next season I guess.